I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm showing you eight ways to style boots. This video is sponsored by Farfetch, and throughout this video, I'll be featuring four pairs of boots from two different brands that I found at Farfetch. If you don't know about Farfetch, it's a great place to shop online for luxury menswear, accessories, and watches. If you like fashion, they've got that. If you're more into classic men's style like me, they've got tons of that as well. He Spoke Style viewers can save 10% by using code HSSFF10 at checkout. Full details are down below in the description. Now let's take a look at these four different styles of boots and eight ways to wear them. First pair of boots we're taking a look at are these right here. These are by the Italian brand Scaroso, a classic leather Chelsea boot, which they call the Enzo Castagno, handcrafted in Italy with Blake stitching. They're made with a high quality calfskin leather with a beautiful finish that you can see on the toe that is created in three steps completely by hand. We have a primarily leather sole, but you can also see that it has some non-slip rubber on there. Full leather heel, really beautiful boot. Now let's see it in a couple different outfits. Chelsea boots are very sleek, very minimal, very comfortable, very easy to slip on and off, and very versatile. Not to overuse an overuse phrase even more, but Chelsea boots really do look great dressed up as well as dressed down. You can wear them with a suit, but here I decided to do something a little more business casual. Let's start with the foundation of this look. Pretty basic. We have a white button-down shirt by Polo Ralph Lauren paired with some navy trousers by Ring Jacket. I layered on a Fair Isle V-neck sweater. This is from Brooks Brothers from several years ago. I'll try to find something similar to link to down below. Obviously though, the hero piece of this outfit is the coat. This is from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. The very first piece that sort of launched the whole idea for this collaboration. It's a Balmacken, which means it has a raglan sleeve and Prussian collar. Really thick wool with an awesome houndstooth pattern and quilted inner lining, tons of warmth. Up top, the hat is by Gorin Brothers. On my wrist, the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. And then, of course, finished off with the Scaroso leather Chelsea boots. Next look here is vintage He Spoke style. I first put this look together a little over four years ago for posts that we did on the website. And I love outfits like this that look just as fresh now as they did way back when. The focus here is sort of on dressing up denim, but in a way that's a little more subtle, a little different, and not simply focused on adding a blazer to the look to accomplish that. So a few ways that I'm doing this here. First, the suede jacket, it's by Billy Reed. Suede is a great way to elevate any casual look. The soft, napped texture of it adds a really nice layer of depth and richness and warmth to the outfit. Next is the waistcoat, it's by Lardini. I like it, obviously, for the style. It's also a nice extra layer when it's cold outside that's not a traditional sweater. When you're wearing a waistcoat with jeans, make sure that it's in a fabric that works with the denim. So we're talking about rich wools and tweeds and flannels. Uh, you wanna stay away from those fabrics that have more of a sheen to them that look like they're more from a formal suit. Moving on now, brown gingham shirt is from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. Jeans are double RL. My sunglasses are the Oliver Peoples Banks. On my wrist, the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel, and then the Scaroso Chelsea boots, the final way that we're dressing up these jeans. Next pair of boots here are also by Scaroso. These are a lace-up dress boot called the Toto Ebano. Like the Scaroso Chelsea's, these are also handcrafted in Italy with Blake stitching, made with a high-quality ebony calfskin with that same beautiful three-step hand finishing. These have a cap toe, six eyelets for the laces, a leather pull tab in the back, sole is leather, and we again have that non-slip rubber in the center, and a full leather heel. Another beautiful boot that is super easy to style. For the first look featuring these boots, we're getting suited and booted. It's not hard to wear boots with a suit. You put on a suit, add boots, and you're done. There's a little bit of finesse involved with it, however, and you've really got to pay attention to the style of the boot and the overall style of the outfit that you're working with. Here we have a very classic kind of fall winter business look. Charcoal gray flannel suit and block striped shirt are both from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. Classic tie here as well, big striped tie, which is by Drake's. Simple white pocket square, it doesn't get more classic than this. The boots pair so well with this suit because they're simple. You've got the classic dark color, you have the simple cap toe, the fact that it's a boot just adds an extra bit of panache and stylishness to an already stylish look. 
Let's quickly mention a couple of remaining details here. My watch is the classic Rolex Datejust, 36 millimeters on a Jubilee bracelet. Here's another look from the HSS archives, this one from three years ago. Actually a little different as I'm subbing in the dress boots for Double Monks, which were the shoes in the original outfit, but I digress. This look for me is sort of a great expression of my personal style ethos, which I always say is classic with a modern sensibility. Four basic and classic pieces here, coat, turtleneck, trousers, boots, but there's something about this look that is more contemporary. One of the things that I think contributes to that for sure is the coat by Daniele Alessandrini. The silhouette is slimmer, which gives it a more modern feel. Turtleneck by Cornelliani paired with the HSS Michael Andrews trousers also feels modern, casually elegant, sophisticated. And then, you know, like with the suit in the previous outfit, the simple and sleek leather dress boot really just adds an extra element of style to an already stylish outfit. Can't move on without mentioning the watch on my wrist is the Alanga and Zona datagraph. Switching gears completely here from a dress boot to something way more casual, this is the Bobby hiking boot by Grenson. Grenson is an English company with a history that goes back all the way to 1866. The boot we're looking at here is a hiking style boot. It's in a tan leather that's hand painted. A Little bit of padding around the ankle for comfort. Has a leather pull tab in the back. Lining is leather as well. We have the hiking style crossover lacing and the big white wedge sole, which is super lightweight. Really great looking casual boot. So I'm gonna be honest here and tell you that I was a little bit worried about styling these boots. I've always wanted a pair of boots like this, but they're really quite different than what I typically wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Ironically though, these were super easy to style and I love them as a way to take a casual look to another level. One very important thing to pay attention to when styling hiking boots like these is the length of the pants you're wearing with them. Typically, you want them to be a little shorter and I think they look best when you've rolled them up. Shows off the boot, the cuff looks cool, win-win. My jeans here are Selvage by APC. They're new standards. Woolrich Arctic Parka, completely unmistakable. Elevating the denim a little bit and giving it a sort of apres ski feel with the turtleneck here. It's by Topman. Knit hat is by Drake's. And on my wrist, keeping with that urban explorer theme, we have the Hamilton Field Khaki Mechanical in black PVD on a gray NATO strap. The thing with hiking boots is that they're really easy to style with jeans. Hiking boots and rolled selvage denim jeans just go together like almost too easily. So I wanted to challenge myself to style them in a way that was different and also to give you guys something different to maybe be inspired by beyond the typical jeans and hiking boots. So this is what I came up with. It's kind of my version of a stylish day in the country. Uh, a lot of you noted in my outerwear collection video the fact that I did not have a barber jacket. Well. Now I do, it's the Ashby model. It's your classic styling, more of a tailored fit, which I thought looked better on me. Super glad that I made the investment here. Underneath, brown gingham shirt from the HSS Michael Andrews collection, paired with a V-neck sweater from Mizzen and Maine. I added an ascot, it's vintage Burberry for a little more warmth around my neck. Chinos are by Bonobos, and you can see that I've rolled them slightly to show off the boot. Hat is by Stofa. On my wrist, the Rolex Explorer 2. And then of course, finished off with the Grenson Bobby hiking boots. Final pair of boots we're gonna be working with here are these. These are also by Grenson. It's a Chelsea boot in snuff suede. Really beautiful color and a really wonderful suede. Of course, being a Chelsea boot, it has the elastic side panels, pull tab on the back there. It's got a stacked heel and a full leather sole. Very cool looking boot. Let's check out some outfits. Because of the suede and because of the color, uh, I really gravitated towards casual looks with these boots, using them as a way to elevate the look with a little touch of luxury. For the first look here, I decided to go with white denim. It's really easy to pair pretty much any color footwear with white because it's so neutral. And I think the color of the boot really pops with the white jeans. Up top, kind of two contrasting pieces that work really well together. First, we have this linen safari jacket by Informale, collaboration they did with Craftsman Clothing. Olive color really kind of brings together the earth tone theme with the color of the boots. Underneath, just a classic heather gray athletic sweatshirt by Levi's, absolute casual essential. And then on my wrist, the Alanga and Zona datagraph. 
Last look here, playing around with a little bit of a high-low thing. Like I said, I was really sort of thinking in the casual realm with these boots and staying in that same lane here. Previous look, I would say, was more of a daytime look. This one, definitely more of a casual evening look. Foundation here is all black, two casual basics. Again, an athletic sweatshirt. This one is by Converse. And then Levi's denim jeans. These are the 511 fit. Coat here, Burberry trench, three quarter length. Now a three quarter length trench is infinitely more versatile than a full length trench, especially for looks like this. Sunglasses are by Moscot. Really cool tinted lenses in a Cabernet color. Watch is the IWC Ingenieur. And then the boots again, really popping. Suede Chelsea boots by Grenson. Want to thank Farfetch once again for sponsoring this video. Reminder that He Spoke Style viewers can save 10% by using code HSSFF10 at checkout. Links to the four boots featured in this video as well as all of the outfit details are down below in the description. Leave a comment with your favorite look, your favorite style of boot. If you found any inspiration at all in this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time we publish a new video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay tailored.